Jamal Finkley, Black Tree TV. Frank, pleasure to be here, man. I'm, I've been yeah. amazed by all the stuff I've seen on this campus. I can't believe I'm in the Steve Jobs building with all the iPhones and Macs and everything else I bought. <laughs> it's just, how, how did it feel for you, like, the first day of work at Pixar? Man, I was, uh, it's kind of that, that, that it, it was, it was surreal, but it was kind of like, okay, treat it like a normal day. But then, but then since then, It'll hit every now and then as I'm driving in, like, because I saw the first Toy Story when I was nine, and I, and I didn't know what it was at first, but then over yeah. time, you know, you get get into college, and then, and then now to kind of circle back and be a part of this film and like also other uh, project, like previous sequel that I was working on here, Incredibles yeah. Two, and it's it's kind of yeah, it's it's a it's a surreal surreal feeling. I think it's, it's still still hits there. How excited are the family or friends or both that that knew that you was going to be an artist and knew that this was good? How excited were they to see that you that now you're part of these projects and stuff like that? Are they saying, I told mm. you he was going to do it? Or? <laughs> that, I, I, I had this email from one of my one of my teachers. He said, I remember him saying to me like around the time when I was about to graduate, I wasn't quite... He, skills weren't quite there yet but uh, you know he told me something that I always remember he's like I because I he knew I wanted to be at Pixar one day and he said he said I could see you on their payroll <laughs> and, yeah. and I, I've always remembered that and um yeah he, he actually came to visit last year and you know just thinking about family and my mom she she's definitely she's been a huge supporter and uh um yeah she she's constantly telling me hey, I'm, I'm your number one fan I'm you know, asking me what what we're working on now, and you know all this stuff, and yeah, yeah I, I, I can see she she's she's a uh, pretty proud. What's the first <clears throat> things you were starting to put on a canvas or a paper? Like, what type of things were? Was it something in, in common you were drawing, like cars or stuff like this, when you first mm -hmm. started drawing, or like what? Do you remember that? Or? Yeah, I, I would I would draw the Looney Tunes. That was like, or, or actually, it was it was pretty much everything. Everything I was watching, but I remember I would draw them a lot because I, I would watch that the most, and I would. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you're, you remember uh, Crisscross. Yeah. The, so uh, I would draw them with pants on, and I would always draw them backwards. <laughs> I'd put the pants on backwards, and um, I think that was that was one of the things that that was consistent. Some of these characters I would draw, I would, I would put regular clothes on them, mm. and uh, and during that period, the Crisscross period, I would I'd flip them around and. But yeah, it was it was everything like Looney Tunes, um, be stuff from Nickelodeon, stuff from you know Warner Brothers, the uh, Batman animated series, like all that, just yeah. absorbed all that stuff and tried to tried to recreate it some way. I was I was asking Afton this, and I wanted to ask you also, like as an artist, when you could just put a blank canvas down and start creating something out of your mind, is it is that more difficult or 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 easier than you know taking a, a already established franchise and working on a Woody or a Buzz, that, you know something that's already been created. Is it easier to work on that and tweak that than creating a, you know? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, because I I've worked on some originals and I think now. Let's see, I, I worked on maybe three sequels now. Um, yeah, that's that's. Uh, I, I'd say. I mean, for for me, as far as like interest level, I think the 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 original stuff is is. I think that that has more of a an interest for me, and and I think it, it may be a little a little easier because I don't feel some of that pressure of trying to uh, live up to what's already been done with the other characters. But I think that's also a it's also a fun challenge to take what's been done and then try to build on that and maybe introduce some new things that weren't done before. So, yeah, yeah, th yeah. I think there's challenges on both sides, but I think there's more of it for me on the on the already established stuff. No, no, light year. Hey, up here, Astro Boy. If you think you can just show up and take our top prize spot, you're wrong. Dead wrong. You don't understand. 
I'm trying to Cheat get... the system and get with a kid? Yeah, we know. No, I need... A to... child to shower you with unconditional love? Join the club, pal. Yeah, join the club. Come on, help me get out of here. Well, I'll help you. With my foot! Get him. Oh, get him. Uh, Bunny, what are you doing? Hmm? I, I can't reach him. Help me out here, come on. Oh, sorry, Ducky, I'm not a mind reader, you know. What, what's not to understand? Hmm? You gonna make me say it? What? With these tiny legs, I cannot reach without your help. Oh. All right? Okay. This is what I've been talking about, Bunny. You need to work on paying attention and your listening skills. Ha! <laughs> How you like that, cheetah? Huh? Wow! Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, to infinity and my foot! When you, when you look around this community as, as far as uh, uh, black animators that are at studios, are, are, is that, is that a, a tight-knit group in itself, like, I know, I mean, I remember like there was Jamal Bradley at DreamWorks. And, I mean, do, do all of you guys know each other because you're all in here, you know, striving to make your mark? I think so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I, yeah, I, I'd, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm trying to think of, some, there's, there's some people I know of that I haven't met in person yet, but I feel like in one, 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 way, or, one way or another, there's some kind of like attraction and, and, you know, some way of finding each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah. whether it's, you know, social media online or, you know, you eventually sync up working at the same place. Uh, I think a lot of us, if, if we don't know each other, we know of each other. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Do you get like a lot of incoming emails or texts or, or DMs where people, where there's young artists trying to figure out how to break in, how to how to make their Pixar dream happen, and they're reaching out to you to figure out, you know, mm. how you can mentor them or something like that. Is does that happen a lot? Yeah, yeah. Not. Um, it may not be asking for for mentorship, but but definitely like how to how to um, how to go that route, or even or even what my path was getting here. Yeah. Um, so I, I try to make sure I re respond to everybody, just to. So I, I know how that is, you know, coming up and just just trying to I mean for one having wanting people to take you seriously and yeah. also um, yeah just just trying to provide some kind of something to, to, to help people along the way and um, I always in in each of those emails I, I always kind of circle back to just creating from from yourself because I, I think there's a there's a, a feeling overall like of, of comparison and wondering you know how this person got there or this person and what am I not doing right or what can I do that's similar to, to that and I think um, ultimately it, it, it always the conversations always boil down to um, putting yourself into your work and and uh, making sure that you're telling these studios who you are and yeah. you know what your what unique perspective you can bring to the studio yeah now these these stories, um, especially this story, is unique going from Toy Story One to Toy Story Four, because mm -hmm. Toy Story One, kids were playing with toys. Toy Story Four, kids are playing PlayStation and <laughs> and iPads and stuff like that. Do you, does does how much does of an influence do you think does outside society and what's going on in the world have on the the maturation of these stories? I mean, are mm. is, is Woody gonna be on the iPad next? <laughs> you know, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, because I remember Toy Story three. They uh, it, he he was looking up their his his address to get home, and he was it was on some kind of like Google Maps type thing. So I, I think I think there there's definitely an an influence. I, I think it's just just utilizing the the world around you and and just infusing it in the story without distracting from the story. So I think. Uh, and, and also, you know, for for any film that you know starts in one place and then years later have have a sequel, I think just using those things to your advantage of you know either creating more obstacles or uh, you know just a appealing to the audience of that of that time while still you know yeah. uh, having something for the people that were around for the original. I know it's a, a, a different studio. Uh, well, not not all the way, but uh, Spider Verse made such a big impact last mm -hmm. year. It was with Peter Ramsey and everything else. How how uh, how 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 did that make you feel to see somebody getting an Oscar, person of color in animation for mm -hmm. you know for for a project like that? And do you think that spawned a lot of 
a lot of new dreams for the kids around the world? Yes, and and I was particularly proud of, uh, of Peter because I, I know Peter, so I was like, I, <laughs> I texted him right away <laughs> saying how, you know, he, he's such a, a, a humble guy and, and helpful and and just like, I think on that level, it was it was nice to see someone be rewarded on that level. And then, and yeah, for, for that for that type of film, and and just just films in general, like having having uh, putting a, a spotlight on um, black characters, like and, and having it recognized on that level was was inspiring for me. And so I, I'm 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 hoping uh, younger people were were inspired just as much. And you know, it, it definitely pushed me to to want to get my stuff out there. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I, I can't wait to see what you got, uh, you know, cooking in your head because I, I, <laughs> I know. Um, you're, you're here today. I don't know what your what your projects will be coming in the future, but I, mm. I have a feeling that you you'll be doing some great things. So thanks for taking the time. Great meeting oh, you. Oh yeah, I appreciate and I'll always it. be following you, bro. Oh man, thank <laughs> appreciate you. That.